channel do you know what I was actually gonna say hey all you cool cats and kittens <laughs> like that's that's how much this stupid uh, Tiger King is in my head anyway I need to take my box braids out I've had them in for about two months and I have to say I'll leave a video to how I look after my braids but this last two weeks um, being in lockdown etc um, my scalp particularly at the front is really really bad really itchy really dry really flaky do you know what I was quite curious to see is how many box braids I actually have in my hair so I've actually taken out half already um, and detangled and twisted that yesterday and from that I cut off these and I counted there's 25 of these plus or minus a couple because I always um, when I first start taking down braids I always take down a complete braid just to see how long my hair actually is where it's falling before I start cutting so that I obviously don't cut away any of my actual hair but I thought it'd be quite fun to see how many box braids are in my head so I am rather desperado to take them down. It's so funny, isn't it? Because with everything that's changed, um, now would have been the good time to actually get box braids, but we weren't to know, were we? So let's just split this in half. I think with this side, I am fine to just go ahead and cut it. It's not gonna be longer than armpit length. The next time I get box braids, I really want them around this length. I always get them like hip length, but I want them this length. I'm going to take my Denman brush and just brush a little bit out. And by the way, when I'm doing this, I'm not just kind of letting the brush tug my hair. I'm holding it. You see how loose it is from my roots? So it's not, it's not hitting my roots at all, okay? So the Denman brush just feathers those ends for me before I need to start taking it down. I'm going to use Sultanicals Slip and Slide Knot Proof Hair Glide. It's just completely natural ingredients with slippery elm, okra and cocoa butter. I'm just taking a little bit of that. I don't detangle, I don't fully detangle like each individual thing otherwise we'll be here forever but I do like to start to kind of massage it into where the braid was attached to start to loosen up those hairs and that build up so that it's not super, super knotty. it's really hot so I'm just taking some of that detangler and massaging that through and just working it through and breaking up that lint and stuff look at that already all that shed hair also, that's how kind of long it was. Waisty length. Before I had them quite long, I had them hip length, but it was like more waist length this time around. What a fun length that is. Oh, definitely want to get that length next time. I've always wanted this length and hairdressers just never do it. They're like, come on, let's just, you might as well just go the whole hog, 24 inch. But I want it this length. I want it this fun length. I'm definitely gonna do that next time because I wanna get box braids again in the late summer. So I'm just combing them out. I 
also thought I would just give you a quick once over. So that detangler really helps soften my hair and start to break down that lint and everything. So it's just gonna make my full detangling process 10 times easier. <gasps> I tell ya, my neck muscles feel great. Right, now I've got all of these. Let's count them. I already had 25 last night, plus or minus a couple. So let's count these. One, two, three, four, 52, 53, 54, 54, 25, 79? Only 79 box braids in my whole head. Plus or minus a couple. Did that one drop out of my hand? Let's round it up to 80. 80 plus or minus a few. I would have thought I would have had at least 100 box braids in my head. Like I said, I know that they were like medium size. They were not micro braids or anything like that. But you know, it just feels like there's tons of it. I can't even put it up into a full ponytail. Um, but yeah, there you go. Upon my pretty little head, I have about 80 box braids or I can fit about 80 medium sized box braids on my head. I am now going to shampoo, oh yes, a full shampoo, a protein deep condition with Miel Organics Mint and Babasu conditioner and then I'll follow that up with As I Am's Hydration Elation because that is a protein free moisturising conditioner to get that balance back in and then the hairstyle that I'm going to do, that requires a conversation. So make sure you stay tuned for my next hair video because some things are changing around here. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.